Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam, and today we will learn about Normal and CADRADS 3 on Coronary CT Angiography. CADRADS stands for Coronary Artery Disease Reporting and Data System. It's a reporting system which is used in coronary CT angiography that grades the severity of coronary artery disease and management, depending on the severity of the disease. CADRADS 3 refers to moderate coronary artery disease. We will be comparing the normal appearances of the coronary arteries on CT angiography with coronary arteries that have moderate coronary artery disease. In CADRADS 0, there is no stenosis or plaque in the artery. No further evaluation for this because the artery is normal. In CADRADS, three cases, there is a stenosis of 50 to 69% in any coronary artery. Obstructive disease is possible. On the left is an image of a normal left anterior descending artery. No hypodense or hyperdense plaque is seen in its lumen. On the right is an image showing a hyperdense calcified plaque which causes a stenosis approximately more than 50%. More than half of the lumen is narrowed due to this plaque. Plaque burden is P1. Only the proximal segment of the LAD has plaque. The other arteries were normal. Let's look at another case of CADRADS 3. In this image, a low-density plaque is present in the LAD. The narrowing seems to be more than 50%. The stenosis seems to fall between 50 and 69%. So it will be graded as CADRADS 3. The stenosis in the middle segment seems to be around 50%. But since the stenosis in the proximal segment is greater, the maximum stenosis is falling between 50 and 69%. So the score will be CADRADS 3. Black burden is P1 because only two segments have plaque involvement. The other segments and arteries were normal. Here is another case of CADRADS 3. A hyperdense plaque is present in the left circumflex artery. Half of the lumen seems narrowed. Sometimes the classification can become confusing whether to grade it as CADRADS 2 or 3. It is better to use the higher grading because better management and treatment will be done and it can prevent a future cardiac event. In this image, we can see calcified plaques in two areas in the first diagonal branch. This plaque is larger and seems to cause a stenosis of greater than 50%. This was classified as CADRADS 3. This low-density plaque caused a stenosis between 50 and 69%. This case was also classified as CADRADS 3. Plaque burden was P1 because only one segment of the left anterior descending artery was involved. This low-density plaque in the left anterior descending artery is causing a stenosis that is greater than 50% of the lumen. A small plaque also seems to be on the other wall of the artery. This was graded as CADRADS 3 P1. For CADRADS 3, management includes non-invasive functional testing such as stress perfusion imaging, CTFFR, which stands for Computed Tomography Fractional Flow Reserve, Stress Echo, or Nuclear MPI which stands for Nuclear Myocardial Perfusion Imaging. But if symptoms persist or high-risk features are present, such as high plaque burden, then invasive coronary angiography is recommended. Medical therapy, including antianginal medications, statins, and risk factor control are generally indicated. Lifestyle modification is very important. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more imaging videos.